Hey, what's up everyone? This is Evan with Pod Peak, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can create your own custom toolbars in Reaper. Alright, so we're looking at a blank Reaper session in front of us, and I want to draw your attention here to the upper left uh, to the main toolbar that installs with Reaper. So basically what each of these toolbar icons does when you press them is that they perform an action or a custom action that is set up in Reaper. So for instance, if we click this button, it will bring up the project settings. If we bring up this button, it will turn the grid lines off. So we'll turn that back on. And so those are just some quick examples of how these buttons work. Well, let's say we want to add some more buttons or customize uh, some buttons uh, for the way we want to work in Reaper. Well, you can do that really easily. And I'm going to show you how today. So probably the quickest way to set up a new toolbar is to come up here into your main toolbar and kind of off to the right in this blank area, maybe just right click and it's going to bring up this window. Now where we want to go to is Open Toolbar. And this gives you a list of all the toolbars in Reaper. Uh, Reaper gives you up to 17 toolbars to customize. And so what I'm going to do is click down here on Toolbar 1. Now this is going to bring up a new floating toolbar. And the buttons that I want to make today are to be able to change the grid settings uh, in my session really quick. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click Edit Me. And this is going to bring up the Customize Menus Toolbars window. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to retitle this toolbar to Grid Settings. So we'll close this down. So now uh, when I come into my settings to open a toolbar, you can see I've got Grid Settings saved. So now I'm going to click in here again, and what you're going to do in this area is this is where you're going to add your buttons or your actions. So click on Edit Me, and it's going to bring down up this drop-down menu. You're going to click Change Action. Now this brings up the Action window. So in the Action window, I'm going to filter Grid, and here's my grid settings right here. So I'm just going to put in the main grid settings uh, that I use mostly for making music. So I'm going to hit grid settings one. Now, just to add a new action, just right click below the other one and it'll give you the option to insert action. Uh, type grid settings. So now I'm going to do grid setting one, two. And instead of closing this, I'm going to hit select another one. And I'm going to do set to 1 8th, set to 1 16th, set to 1 32nd, set to 1 64th, and set to 1 and 128th. So now I've got all of my grid settings in here. You can see this is what the buttons will look like um, when we save this. But first I'm going to reorganize these in order. Okay, so now all my grid settings are in order. So I'm going to close this. Now I'm going to save this. And you can see now that all of my grid settings are saved on this toolbar. So I'm going to click through these and you'll actually see the grid lines change. Very cool. So the last thing I want to do is I actually want to dock this toolbar at the top of my session. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to right click on it. We're going to go to position toolbar and at top of main window. And so now my grid settings are up here. So now I can quickly go through my grid settings and uh, this is just one way um, to kind of set my session up the way that I like to work.
All right, so in part two of this video, I'm gonna show you how to assign toolbar icons to your actions that you create in these toolbars. Go ahead and leave a comment down below and I will see you in the next video. All right, peace out.